Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our video tutorials on the 11 plugin uh, included in Pro Tools, Avid's Pro Tools software. So in the previous tutorial, we talked about the different modules that are part of the 11 MK2 plugin. But today we're going to talk about the 11 Lite plugin. So 11 MK2 is the main plugin, the main guitar solution developed by Avid. But it also comes with a light version, meaning that it's it consumes less CPU resources. So if you have an older computer, you might want to give it a shot at that one. Okay. So uh, how does it work? Well, exactly the same as the, the other plugin. You have a DI track like the one that I have here. And, you know, you would add the plugin on your inserts as any other insert. And you'll go plugin, Avid. Let's do 11 light. First thing you're gonna notice, it looks kind of close to the other plugin, but does have some differences. So, um, and the main difference is located down here at the cabinet area. You don't have the speaker breakthrough or whatever that little slider that was there that helped you break the speaker. Uh, you don't have any microphone selection or microphone positioning options. And honestly, you only get two amp types and two cap types. So if you're trying to find a quick um, tone and you don't have a lot of time and just want to get things going fast, you might want to try the 11 light. So you got DC modern overdrive and crunch. So if you do the overdrive, So you get that DC modern amp, and then you have the crunch, which is another amp style. But once again, the same theory, right? You have your input knob, so your signal hits that knob first, and then that knob controls the input to the amp, and then from the amp you go to the cap, and then to this output knob on the right. Now, as far as the caps, you can only change the cap, but there's nothing else you can configure from it. And in those two amps, you get kind of like the same, up to some point, the same type of um, controls. You have some kind of gain, input gain, okay? Um, <clears throat> you have the four band equalizer. Uh, you have a master knob, so for a master output. And you also get a speed and depth control for vibrato, okay? So you get a little bit of a, I guess an overdriven and a crunch tone to it. So that's it for the 11 light. Once again, just a light version of the original 11 MK2. If you have an older computer, an older system, and you're trying to con uh, you're trying to find something that consumes less CPU resources, this might be your best shot. If you have any other questions, please call us from BDM PC Audio Labs, and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.